Hello Shareability Online class. Welcome back to yet another episode. And uh, in this episode of uh, Primary 7 Science Self-Study Lesson, we shall be looking at muscles. Uh, I would like to start uh, by thanking the members that are subscribed to the channel, those that like our videos. Uh, please keep up the good work and uh, please thank you for encouraging us. Thank you for boosting the channel by liking and sharing the videos. Uh, let us let us define what muscles are and what they do and how they help shape our body. Uh, a muscle is an elastic substance found in an animal or they are elastic substances found in animal bodies. Muscles are connected to the bones by tough fibrous, th tough fibrous tissues called tendons. Muscles only relax and contract. There are majorly three types of muscles. Uh, we have voluntary or skeletal muscles. Skeletal muscles. We have involuntary or smooth muscles. And we have cardiac muscles. Voluntary or skeletal muscles are those muscles whose movement can be controlled. They are always attached to the skeleton. Examples of such types of muscles include the biceps muscles of the hand, which contrast, which connects the scapula to the radius, and the triceps muscles of the hand, which connects the scapula, the humerus, and the ulna. Uh, the diagram shows what happens to the biceps and the triceps when the arm is straight and when the arm is bent. When the arm is straight, the triceps contract and the biceps relax. And when the arm is bent, uh, the when the arm is bent, the biceps contract and the triceps. The when the arm is bent the tra the triceps relax and the biceps contract uh, on the principle as we said muscles only contract and relax then we can look at involuntary or smooth muscles which are muscles whose movement is automatic we have little or no control over them examples of this such type ma examples of such muscles include muscles of the walls of the alimentary canal muscles of the reproductive system muscles of the blood vessels and muscles of the excretory system uh, we also have what we know as cardiac muscles these are muscles whose movement is made by <coughs> by the muscles themselves they are not controlled by the body or the human ideas we do not have any control over these muscles and examples of the cardiac the cardiac muscles include muscles of the heart uh, these have the capacity to contract and relax throughout life without getting tired and without being controlled or having control over them or being stopped they only stop when the person is dead those are cardiac muscles or muscles of the heart uh, that is an illustration of how the of how the muscles of the heart work uh, expanding and contracting functions of muscles they help in joining bones in our bodies they help in movement or locomotion they help and most perform work uh, muscles store our energy it is the muscles that store energy in animal bodies they aid in movement of food from food through the alimentary canal some muscles help in controlling blood pressure they are used in storage of oxygen those are some of the, of the functions of of muscles in our bodies and then at a, we have what we call the antagonistic muscles muscles that work in pairs when one relaxes the other one contracts contracts like we saw an example is muscles of the muscles of the arm they are in pairs the biceps and the triceps when the other one contracts the other one relaxes when the other one relaxes the other one contracts they are known as antagonistic muscles they work in pair 
then importances or functions of the skeletal and muscular system. They help in body movement, they give the body shape, they protect the inner delicate organs of the body, they help in manufacturing of blood cells and also provide room for muscular attachments. Uh, let us look at another heading known as the posture. Posture means the position of the body for everything we do. There is correct there is a correct posture for sitting, standing, walking and running and also sleeping. We need to sleep in the correct posture so that we get good dreams. Uh, that's just a job. But importance of good posture. We look smart. Uh, muscles of the of the abdomen and the diaphragm become strong. Good posture keeps the organs of the intestines in proper position and good posture helps the skeleton to develop in the right way. Bad posture leads to indigestion and deformities of the skeleton. Uh, the video below shows how uh, it depicts how a good sitting posture must be practiced. Uh, diseases and disorders associated with the skeletal and muscular system. We have various diseases. We have polio, we have uh, uh, tuberculosis, we have um, we have we call tetanus, very many of them, leprosy. So you can pause the video and read and understand these kinds of diseases. We have leprosy which is caused by a bacteria. It is spread through direct body contact with an infected person and it attacks, it attacks both muscles and bones. It is prevented by isolating an uninfected person and avoid sharing towels, basins, beddings with an infected person. Treat early cases with antibiotics. We have rickets. It is a deficiency disease which affects bones especially during especially during pregnancy when the mother did not have enough foods containing vitamin D, calcium and phosphorus. It causes ox bow legged or or knock knees legs. In adults, rickets can cause common fractures. Uh, signs and symptoms of rickets, weak bones, especially leg bones, poor teeth formation, fractures, very common to one person, and um, oxbow legs and knock knee legs. Prevention and control of rickets include foods, someone must consume foods containing vitamin D, calcium, and phosphorus. Uh, disorders of the skeletal and muscular system, we have fractures, sprains, strains, dislocations, among others. How to maintain proper skeletal and muscular system? Eat foods containing a balanced diet, especially mineral salts like calcium and phosphorus. And also food containing vitamins, especially D. Have children taken for early immunization against tuberculosis, polio and tetanus. Carry out regular body exercises. Exercises are important because the heart muscles grow stronger and larger. The heart delivers more blood to the muscles and to other parts of the body. More enzymes are made in the muscle tissue to break down glucose and fatty acids. Ligaments and tendons become more stronger and reduce chances of injury. Joints become more flexible. Weight is lost, i.e. you don't become extra fat or obese. The risk of heart attack is reduced and digestion of food is carried out quickly and easily. That's that about muscles. Thank you very much for watching the video. Thank you for supporting Shareability Uganda. May God bless you.